In this video, we'll look at how to use variables, um, how to define them, what they are, um, how to use them in APIs, scripts, and dashboards. So you can see here, I have a couple of variables. Um, and one is Haley, one is New York, and they're just kind of the coordinates for those uh, locations. Um, you can create new variables by clicking this Create New Variable button. And from there, you can actually specify um, the name, the description, and a value. So we're not going to cover secrets in this. We actually have a separate video for secret variables and secret management. So I'll just create a basic string. Um, this is a string. And then we'll set the value to my string. We also support bools. So I'll show that in one second. So we'll create our string variable. And I will create um, my bool. And this is a bool. And then if we select bool, we can actually set it to true or false. So we will set this to true. And you can see then that is listed there as a bool, and it's true. So now that we've defined these variables, we actually can use them in our scripts throughout PowerShell Universal. If I were to go to API endpoints, we can create a new endpoint. I'm just going to call it variable. And it'll turn off authentication and click OK. We have our new API variable or endpoint. And now we can do, um, I think it was basic, would be one of my variables. Save that. And if I execute my script, you'll see that my string is now returned because that's the value of the um, basic variable. So again, if we look at our variables page, basic is my string, and it returned that value. So I can use that just as like a, a, a regular PowerShell variable in all of the places that you can write PowerShell scripts. So the same works for scripts. So if I actually were to create a new script, say variables, uh, click OK, and do the same thing where I uh, output basic, and I run the job, what you're going to notice is that we get my string outputted. So again, it expanded that variable, and I can just use it in my PowerShell script. Um, finally, the same works for dashboards. So if I were to create a new dashboard, going to create our example dashboard. You can see here's our example dashboard. I'll just kind of get rid of all the contents here and say new UD button um, on click. We're going to show UD toast and we'll show our basic variable. And we'll just say click me. So now we have a basic um, dashboard that uh, has a button and we're going to go view that. And now you can see we have the click me button. If I click that, you can see that my variable is now being printed up in the toast in the top right corner here. Um, variables are defined inside the variables.ps1 file. So if you click um, plat or, uh, settings, configurations, and go to the variables uh, page here, you can see in our variables.ps1 we have our four variables defined. Um, each one of the variables uh, has its name, description, and value, uh, as, long, as well as a type if it's not a string. So um, in this video, we went over how to define variables inside your PowerShell Universal environment and then how to use them in APIs, scripts, and dashboards.